This week on Redbeard's Overthunk Junk, Zeppelin goes for a walk. Waffles gets towed down a hill. And I sport a hat and new overalls. Hey guys, Redbeard here. Don't you hate it when you get to run to check the mail and somebody doesn't park the rig behind you? Not only did they park the rig behind me, they stripped it all the way down. Well, guys, we got to find a way out. So I'm working on some rigging here, uh, getting the rig backed up. I've got a ratchet strap holding the front axle up to the frame on uh, waffles here. Uh, deflated the airbags on the Sammy Mog. Uh, got my tire tires here. Uh, the goal, uh, this is a 3,200-pound uh, basket lift, vertical lift strap. The goal is to swing the tires over the strap, hook it through the soft shackles, and come up here and grab with the winch line and lift itself off the roll cage. Once I get tension on it, I'm going to charge the airbags. We're going to lift it up. At that point, I should be able to take the jack stands out, and we're going to back her out the door. And... Uh, could be exciting, could be fun, who knows, but we're going to get it all on video, guys. So, I've kind of staged up the rig. She's going to go out the door. I got uh, roughly two inches between the tires and the door opening uh, in this configuration. So, i gotta, I got to get it pretty exact to get in and out. And uh, my visibility is going to be reduced just a hair. Just a hair. Anyway, guys, if this works and I like it, uh, maybe I'll work on a pivot. We'll do like a gamma goat twin engine drive type thing. Uh, there ain't no telling where this is going to end up. Uh, but in all seriousness, I got all my parts ordered. Uh, the accountant green-lighted it today. So we got the RCVs coming, the ARP studs, full knuckle rebuilds, uh, RCV drive flanges. I'm going to give that a shot. Uh, one of my uh, hubs was busted. I'm not busted, the bearing's gone in it. Uh, anyway, I, I think with the RCV shafts, are greasable. I like that aspect. And so with the dust covers over the end of the drive flanges, it's going to be super easy to service them axles. I'm not even going to have to open anything up. Pop the dust, cap, dust caps off, grease them, put the caps back on. We're good to go. Uh, I think that's going to be the ticket. Uh, we'll find out, right? Maybe it'll go on a trail when we get done. I don't know. Uh, we're down to just drive shafts. Uh, drive shafts and rear axle. I don't want to sell it short. There are, there's a couple things left we haven't gone through yet. Uh, I'm going to try to avoid going through them. That's probably going to come back to bite me, but uh, uh, Waffles is supposed to be a quick, fun project. And uh, she's been fun, uh, but she ain't been quick. So anyway, guys, I've uh, been working on it for uh, five months straight now. Not straight. We've had some breaks, but I got about five months into this rebuild. Uh, which I guess isn't terrible, uh, but it's not what I had planned. So anyway, I'm going to set up the camera. Uh, I'll probably go, uh, I think I'll just do time lapse. I don't want to bore you all with it. I'll do time lapse, do a voiceover, something like that. And then uh, once we get it rigged up, we'll get her out of here. So anyway, uh, thanks for watching. Hope you're having a great weekend. We're going to try to get this done. The clouds are rolling in. It's supposed to start raining tomorrow. So this is it. It's go time. Anyway, check you later. Hey guys, Redbeard here. People are always asking me what separates Redbeard's overthunk junk from regular junk. Uh, not much, to be honest with you, but maybe a little bit of overthunking. So, another big question I get is why do you have airbags on the rig with uh, King Air Shocks all the way around, two and a halfs? Uh, I don't need them. Uh, but there was a time that Kings were on back order. I was running little two inch rad flows. Somebody made the rig too heavy. I don't know. I try to talk them out of it but they did it anyway and I got tired of hitting the bump stops I was running some JK poly stops and they kept hitting I did not like it so I modified the buckets I bought a piece together a kit off of Amazon and uh, built a airbag setup for it uh, I don't need the airbags now but I use them as pneumatic bumps but they have one other use and we're about to see that so if you'll zoom out here and take in the whole image of what's going on here we're about to use the power pneumatics to lift this rig off the jack stands. So hopefully the air compressor doesn't cycle, but we'll see. As you can see, we're slowly coming up. And look at that, guys. It is off the jack stands and floating on the Samurai. 
Uh, we have the tire in there for a bump so we don't hit each other. I'm about to put this rig in neutral. It may drop down a hair lower. What I'll do is when I back it up, I'll put this rig in park and pull forward and that should lift it. And then we'll adjust the jack stands to fit. All I care about is I get the axle supported. I'll get unhooked. I don't care how I do it. And once I'm unhooked, I can use the floor jack to put this back on jack stands. But anyway, the name of the game is we are off of the jack stands. And we are floating. So, uh, look at that, guys. Everybody's always talking. There's a lot of talk on the internet about the biggest samurai. Uh, I don't know that's the absolute biggest. There's a lot of metrics. But she's, she's uh, got a lot of parts. She's well built. And she's pretty sturdy. She's holding up a whole other built samurai off the back of it right now. And uh, I'm not even going to engage the lockers. We're going to turn it around up the side of the hill and bring it back down. Anyway, stay tuned, guys. Hopefully, we get some good footage, and uh, we'll go from there. Thank you. All right, guys. Here we go. How's it looking? A little nerve-wracking. Ain't going to lie. Never, uh, never done this before. So... I can't. So, guys, this is what I was afraid of. We're not tracking completely straight. The good news is, once we go to come back in, I'll be able to use the floor jack to straighten the rig out once we get it through the hole. So, there we go. I'm going to turn on a few lights. Ideally, this is going to turn like a trailer. But we will see. Sorry if I don't keep the audio going. I've got other things in my mind. Uh, Zep, how are we looking for contact on the body? So anyway, guys, if this does not work, I will go up the hill and come back down. Sammy Mog is in turf mode. Both lockers are open. We're dropping off the driveway. That's okay, Zip. All right, guys, we're going to try... go up that wasn't planned there we go what's up all right guys I can't turn it that sharp we're going up Guys, we're back on camera. I'm gonna put my seatbelt on. So I ain't gonna lie, uh, that did not feel as good as it could have coming up. Uh, it seems to have an extra few thousand pounds hanging off the top of your roll cage. Uh, may not be ideal. Anyway, we're just gonna ease it down. I think we're good. Sandy Bog's in low. I can grab first if I need to. I think we're in second. All right, we're gonna square up here and pause the video and I'm gonna regroup for the final back end. We may be getting it. Hold on. Oh, I'm gonna adjust my mirrors. We clearing that? Seems that we did ding a little bit of paint off of the driver's side mirror bucket on waffles. Uh, 
that's probably a small price to pay. Uh, but anyway, guys, I'm not a DOT trucker, in case you haven't noticed. And uh, this is the first time I backed up a flat-toed vehicle since 2001. When I learned that was impossible, uh, the Sammy Mog actually got flat-toed in an earlier uh, revision from Fayetteville, Arkansas, all the way to New Iberia, Louisiana. That was my record for the furthest flat toe I've ever done, and that was not without misadventures. So look, guys, we are in the garage with the waffles. Uh, it, we may have to work the floor jack. Uh, let's see. I might be able to get her in there further. Uh, I just have such limited visibility on my tire. To All right, guys, that's the end of this part of the video. I'm going to get out and use the floor jack. We're going to walk the sandwich, uh, the waffles over and then re-stab, see where we get. But the hard part's done. Thank you. That's how it's done, guys. She's in. Next video will be releasing it. So I should have drained the front axle before we did all that. I did lose a little bit of gear in the driveway. Uh, not much, not much at all. We'll get out there and get it cleaned up and we're gonna re-gravel this week. Well, next few weeks anyway. So uh, anyway, guys, uh, I ain't gonna lie. That was a little more, uh, I'm not gonna say challenging, but the uphill, I should have took it square. Uh, going at an angle was probably not my best move. Uh, this front corner was feeling awful white. With that being said, I don't know that we even started pulling on the limits. Uh, it, it was probably close. Anyway, guys, uh, this is what you can do when you build over thunk junk. You can use one piece of junk to move another piece of junk around your junky driveway and up the hill. So, anyway, Q, thanks for letting us use your yard. I uh, forgot to ask. Anyway, talk to you later. Hey guys, Redbeard here. Man, I'll tell you what, I was a bit nervous. I ain't gonna lie, the side hill going up was probably not the best line I could have took. I should have went straight on or angled it along the trail. <laughs> There's a much smoother line. But I tell you, um, Sam and Mog did phenomenal. Couldn't ask for any more. Uh, we did that whole maneuver, open diffs. Uh, I never felt the tire slip. I don't think any did. Um, anyway... I uh, had a little bit of excitement. My fuel tanks are still over full. And with the weight on the back end, we did run a little bit of fuel out. It is what it is. I don't really care. Uh, we made it. Uh, no real damage. I say no real damage. We did make contact one time in the initial. Uh, we tried to back out and turn it like a trailer. Um, problem is, like a trailer has like a four-foot tongue. We had like a six-inch tongue. <sighs> Man, <laughs> turns out there's a difference. Anyway, guys, look at this. I, I don't know how I'm going to recover. I have mortally wounded the Sammy Mog. So send in your offers, guys. She's going to be up for sale. I just I don't know how to keep going on with it with this much damage. Um, the drivetrain is still good. All the components. We'll get a full rundown. Just PM me. Actually, uh, message and share, subscribe, and then message me, and we'll talk about the details. But uh, here we go. <laughs> Uh, Waffles is in her proper spot. Uh, this is the on weight bay. Uh, she was supposed to be getting brakes done. Turns out we're going a little bit deeper. I've already covered all that. But uh, here we go, guys. Look at... Uh, she may be for sale, too. Zeppelin, is she for sale? I'm getting a head nod no from my camera guy. He's going to put up with the damage. But anyway, a lot of guys criticize the headlights being up here. Uh, why are you doing that? Why are you bending DOM for headlight shields? Well, that's it, guys. We just flat-toed this right up against the back of another rig, and we chipped the paint. There's, I mean, it is a... It could have went so much worse. Uh, we're really blessed. Uh, guys, uh, it, I know it looks like we're just playing around, and we are to an extent, but I really do try to think through everything. So the way the strap was hooked, even if the winch line failed, the axle wouldn't hit the ground. Uh, we took a lot of precautions. I had 80 pounds of air in the rear airbags on the Sammy Mog. I've never went that high before. Um, we've leveled back off. We're back down to four. But uh, 
everything did what it needed to do. I'll tell you what, guys, that's what feels good, okay? Because you build all this stuff, and you try all this stuff, and you really don't know if it's going to work. And I, how do you plan for this? You don't. But I knew I wanted a cage structure that could do whatever I threw at it. And uh, <laughs> we'll go into more detail in future videos. But this is actually almost like the cage structure on this Sammy Mog is a drop-in chassis over the roll cage. And we're not relying on the stock frame to do anything but keep it square. So look, guys, uh, we had a great night. Very productive. Rain's coming tomorrow. May go watch Fast and Furious X. I hear it's pretty realistic this time. Uh, anyway, the last few have been like spot on. I'm sure there was no no editing. But uh, we're going to go check out the last one. And I uh, hope you all have a great weekend. And hopefully these parts come in before I come home next week from uh, Yukon, Oklahoma. So if you're in Yukon, watch out for me. I'll probably be in a boring rental car. But we'll see what happens. Talk to you later.